happy Valentine's Day. The Andanagramma here going live to share with you all the goodies I got while I was shopping this past weekend with my honey on our Valentine's getaway up in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Amish country up there, don't you know? And we had a lovely time, stayed in a, a lovely motel there that we enjoyed. Uh, we went and saw a show and we did a lot of shopping because they have outlets up there and all kinds of things to do. So we enjoyed it. Hello, Sarah. Thanks for coming by. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Good to see you here. I'm going to wait just a few minutes till people get in before I start showing things. Hello, Galena. <laughs> and Deb, hello. Glad to have you here. Good morning. Happy Valentine's, Laura, honey. Looking mighty rosy. Yeah, I had to do it up for Valentine's, right? Put a little war paint on and curled my hair and wore some red. Hello, Allie. Glad you could make it. I know you said you had an appointment, so I don't know how that's running for you, but I'm glad you're here at least for a while. Hello, Mud Pie Girl. So have any of you gone to Lancaster County, PA and shopped up there? Thank you, Laura, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you, Galena. <laughs> I have a new Gmail, so I need a wrench. Aha, okay, gotcha. I think I know how to do that now. There you go. Thank you, hon. I will do that for you. Red is your color. Yeah, I can wear red and I can wear corals and some blues. They do the best by me, I think. <laughs> I got a lot of red in my skin, so sometimes I got to tone it down. <laughs> no, but she would, uh, let's see, that was Sarah Mae says she would love to go shopping at Lancaster County. Yes, it's been a while since uh, Maniac Grammy's been to Lancaster County. We did. The weather was not good. The weather was rainy and foggy, but we still had a good time. At least it wasn't cold because we had had really cold weather up until that, those few days. And it was 40s and 50s. You know, it wasn't warm, but it definitely wasn't freezing cold. Coco Noel, so, so glad you're here. And I have a package I got from Coco and her husband, Ern, and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it live. And I hope it's safe to open live. I might have to peek first because Coco's got a great sense of humor. So <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm in Indiana and we have lots of Amish. Yep. Indiana, Ohio has a lot of Amish. Pennsylvania. Maryland has some, but not around me. Except we have a, an Amish um, market here. And they come down from Pennsylvania on the weekend to, to uh, sell their wares there. Oh, the drama. Yeah, the drama. Wondering what Coco and Ern sent me in that box. You never know. She's She's got quite the sense. Oh, well, Ern, too. He's always laughing. So um, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit scared to open that live, but I'm going to do it in a bit. <laughs> Family friendly, no worries. Okay. I didn't doubt that it wouldn't be. <laughs> Just wondered how embarrassing it would be otherwise, even if it was family friendly. But... She's kind. She wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get started and show you the things I bought up in Lancaster County. You heard me say that I was going to go to my favorite uh, fabric outlet out there. Hello, Cheryl. Happy Valentine's. And it's called Zinc's Fabric Outlet in the Goodville East Earl area of Pennsylvania in Lancaster County. And it's a huge bare bones warehouse. I mean, you see pipes running around the, the walls. There's these gigunda rooms there and just piles and piles of fabric and buttons and zippers and threads and no, all kinds of notions and lots and lots of all kinds of fabric. And I love going there. And I haven't been buying a lot of fabric because I have a lot of fabric stored already. But there are a few things I had my eye on. So we went there. Is that by Churchtown? I don't know where Churchtown is. If you know where the Shady Maple Smorgasbord is, it's near that. In East Earl or Blue Ball, all that area is very close to each other. Happy Valentine's, Kathleen. Thanks for coming by. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you first the things I got at the uh, Zinx Fabric Outlet. And I'm excited about them. Um, I'm going to have to jerk you around a little to move my tripod. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you and then pack them in a box so I can make room on the table for other things I'm showing you from other stores. First thing I'm going to show you is cheesecloth. If you've tried to buy cheesecloth, you know, for making cheese or straining and things like that, I usually end up using um, uh, very gauzy uh, new dish towels because this stuff can get expensive. I've seen it in the grocery store for like $8 a, a piece. So this was either $1 or $2. And it's a big, a big piece of it. So I can cut it up and use it. So that was my first deal was a uh, dollar or two for some genuine cheesecloth. Then for making my mittens, I need nice fleece for lining. I don't go cheap on my mittens. I uh, want to have a wonderful stretch, very good quality fleece inside. And this is a nice stretch. And this wasn't super cheap this, because, like I said, I, I really want to have good quality. This was $5.99 a yard, but it's super wide, like 72 inches or something. So I got a lot of fabric for the price. So I paid $6 for some of this nice lining for my mittens. A nice fleece. And this, isn't this pretty? You know I like these colors. Well, this is a polyester. But the polyesters nowadays are so much better than the ones they used to have. Let me see if I can hold it up for you so you can see the whole print. And I got four yards of this, and this too is very wide. So I'm going to be able to get a lot out of this. I can get, <coughs> excuse me, I can get a dress out of this. And you see how it's got layers. I can put borders on it. I can get a... Um, duster out of it if I wanted to wear a flouncy duster over another solid color dress or something. I could make it an overlay on a peasant skirt. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have this. It was only $1.99 a yard and it's really wide. So that was a good deal. Yeah, I love this. Even though it's polyester, it's a nice polyester. They've improved them so much. It doesn't feel like polyester. It feels I don't know. It just is nice. Love that peasant fabric. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm looking forward to making something with this. Okay. Now, what else they had? These huge spools of thread were only $2. And there's, let me read how many yards on this. It's ridiculous. Uh, 6,000 yards on this thing. $2. And I went through, some of them were older, so I went through and I found the newer ones because some of them had been in storage. And I took, and I, I broke a couple of them to see how the threads were. And I took the ones that had really strong thread on them. So this is navy and this is black. Unfortunately, they didn't have white or I would have gotten that. But I thought that was a really good deal for 6,000 yards of thread. Happy to have that. Another great deal they had, let me get this other one that's open, is uh, black elastic. This whole spool, which is 36 yards, was 36 cents for the whole thing. Is that ridiculous or what? They had bins of it there. So I got two of them. I don't know yet what I'm going to use it for, but I'm sure... Eventually, I'll find a use for half-inch black elastic for practically free. <laughs> so that was a great deal. All right, then let me pull these over. I got these smaller threads. They're polyester. These are good quality because I bought them before. 200 yards each for 50 cents a spool. Can't go wrong with that. So I got two, four, six, eight, ten. I spent five dollars on it. I got white, navy, black, gray, and brown. So for five bucks, I got a lot of the smaller threads. 
They have tons of buttons there. These I got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. yeah, I think there were 10 for a dollar. And I got gray and I got that orange color. 10 for a dollar. It's kind of a gray green and orange, just plain pretty little buttons. And then they had vintage buttons there. I got another card of these too. It might have fallen out in the oops, might have fallen out in the car. But these were vintage and these were only like 36 cents for this card. And I could put those on my mittens too. I always like offering my mittens with lovely vintage buttons on them. So I got that for like 36 cents, which I wish I'd been here first because when I show you other buttons I bought that are vintage, you'll see I paid a lot more than that. Now let me check comments before I continue. All right. Everyone's saying hello to each other. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm the lady in red today. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> let's see, reading the comments here. <coughs> Excuse me, I got tickle in my throat. That's a steal. Oh my, you sure scored. Yes, I did. <coughs> I see black garters in your future. I don't think so. <laughs> Coco. See what I tell you about Coco. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Glad to have you here, hon. I'll try and be very descriptive with my, um, what I'm, what I'm uh, showing here with what I bought. I collect buttons with love vintage. Beautiful. I got a bunch to show you. Stay tuned here. Oh, I love your cup. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got myself a bandana grandma cup. It's I was going to get red because, you know, my kitchen's red. But when I was designing this on the site and I pulled up the red inside and I pulled up the blue inside, the blue actually looked nicer because it was just too much red. So I like it. It's got my picture, bandana grandma, and see what it says. Is that backwards to you? It says gardening, cooking, canning, sewing, crocheting, faith and family, bandana grandma, follow on YouTube, and Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. <coughs> and if you don't know, that tickled my throat. This logo right here. Uh, Coco Noel designed for me. She took a picture that I had and uh, gussied it up real nice and put that frame around it and made me a beautiful logo. So I'm enjoying that. She's got quite a lot of talent. So Colleen, Coco Noel, thanks to you again. <laughs> no, it's good. I want a cup. Yeah, they were they were expensive to buy. So I, if I had to sell them. I know I'd probably have to charge like $15 a cup or something, and then they're shipping. That's why I haven't offered any. They're just kind of hard to, they're heavy to ship and all. Yes. And Brenda, Brenda who? Wait a minute. Which Brenda's here? We talking about Grandma Maniac. Grandma Brenda or new to me, uh, my new me Brenda? I was hoping both were in here. Mm, don't see my new me. It's our Maniac Grammy Brenda. And she, Maniac Grammy Brenda is going live after me. So you might want to look for her. Laura says she would buy the cup. <laughs> Laura, you are so sweet. Well, I'll, I'll look online to where I get them and see what I can do. Okay, hon? Thank you, Bandana, Grandma, and Sarah. Yes, you do great work. Coco. All right, now, can you believe what I found at the fabric outlet? Bandana Grandma found bandanas. And you know, if I bought like 50 bandanas, they must have been a great deal, right? <laughs> okay, these bandanas were like 36 cents each. And usually I have to pay, pay at least a dollar for them. So, and I found some patterns I hadn't seen before. 
This one is kind of a mazy yellow gold background and it's got like a Caribbean map all on it with the old time looking. Yeah, it's islands of the Caribbean with a brown border and the gold and maize and isn't that pretty? And I thought I could get these solid brown ones and put them together and make aprons or peasant skirts. So I'm going to be doing that. That's why I bought them is to uh, make clothing with them. I'll keep a few for wearing on my head and then the rest I'm going to make up in aprons or peasant skirts or something like that. Maybe peasant blouses. But I love these because I've never seen this color and the maps on it like that before. Alrighty, so there's the maps and the brown. And I've got the black and white paisley. I got a bunch of those. And I found the pink, white, and black paisley, a normal bandana print. And of course, I can mix and match these and put those together as well. And also, I have solid white, so that would go as well. And this light salmon color, same for America. Yes, I'll be selling the aprons. I'm going to the Homesteaders of America conference in Virginia in October. And I'm having a booth and I'm going to have my wares there, my, you know, my mittens and slippers and aprons and things. And also some baked goods and maybe some salves and stuff made from my plants in the garden and soaps. Uh, and I got thinking... I wanted something low cost to offer people. And I thought, what what else what would be better for bandana grandma to have than piles of bandanas with bandana grandma um embroidered on them? So that's what I plan to do, but I want to get more bandanas to do that with. And uh I'm going to have to try and go back before too long up there and see if I can get some more. I think that would be a good idea cuz you know, I want people who just want to spend a few dollars on a souvenir to have something that they can bring home as well as having higher price things that I, you know, with my time I put into everything and the materials I have to charge more for. So that's what I got at the Zinks Fabric Outlet up by East Earl of Pennsylvania, Goodville, Pennsylvania. It used to be called the Goodville Fabric Outlet and then they changed it over to Zinks. Now, if you live near a Amish community anywhere, that's where they usually have Zinks outlets. So if, if you do a search, you may find a Zinks near you and find these great deals for yourself in your area. All right, I'm going to check the comments before we go on to the next store. <sighs> okay, we're back to the fabric. Back to the garters. <laughs> I read that. What you drinking? I hope I hope you're not getting sick. Yeah, I'm just drinking iced tea now. I had coffee this morning. Now I've just got ice, plain iced tea in here. For a tickle. <clears throat> All right. We love that blue too. Yeah. I like the blue on the cup. Patchwork, bandana grandma skirts. Yes, like peasant skirts. So glad you found so many great deals. Oh, I got more coming. I'm just reading the comments now. I love peasant skirts. Will you sell them? Yes, I'll be selling them. Once I make some up and figure out how long it's taken me and what materials I'm using, the cost and all, then I'll put a price on them. Will you be showing how to make an apron with a bandana? I probably could do that. I'd be happy to do that. Lots of great bargains. Bargains. You read my mind with peace and love. Okay. Maybe she was talking to somebody else. All right. Next thing I'm going to show you. Now, this item I'm showing now, I didn't get this weekend. I got it just before we left, but because it was new, I'm going to show it. And you haven't seen it in my kitchen before. I love your mug. Happy Valentine, says Rebecca. Thank you. <clears throat> so, this item right here, I had been wanting to get an electric tea kettle because we 
when we have a French press or I make tea, we boil the water in my, on the top of the stove kettle. And it takes a long time and sometimes we get impatient. And my daughter, one of my daughters and one of my sons has the, or two of my sons have the electric tea kettles. And they're always pushing me, mom, you got to get an electric one. It's so much quicker. And I thought, well, I'll think about it. And, and they were kind of pricey and, you know, I mean, I can put it on the stove. It's not that big a deal. Sometimes I even just nuke the cup in the microwave. But I was perusing Amazon and I saw this and I don't get any kickback from this. I'm just showing you what I bought. Uh, Ovente, I guess is how you say it. It was red and it was only $19.99 and it uh, had an automatic shut off. My new me, there she is. I just mentioned you, Brenda, because there was a Brenda in here and I was saying I was hoping for two Brendas. My new me, Brenda, and, ben, and uh, Mania Grammy Brenda. So now you're both here. Good. You missed my haul from the fabric outlet, Brenda. You're going to have to rewatch this, but I got a lot more to go yet. So this says... It has double wall stainless steel interior, boil dry protection, automatic shut off, safety locking lid, concealed heating and element for easy cleanup, and a 360 spin on it so you could just set it down any old way. So I thought that has everything I wanted and it's only $19.99 and it matches my kitchen. So I ordered it and here it is and I think it looks cool. Right. This is my pot, so I'll put my hands on it so you can see the size. It looks a little orange on my screen, but it's true red. And it has an on an on off button here. And the base just has a little hole in the middle and there's a recessed uh, little peg in there that sets in it to set it off. And it has stainless interior and stainless lip. So I was really happy with that for $19.99. So yeah, I don't get any kickback. I don't get any Amazon kickback, anything like that. I'm just showing you what I bought. So I was happy with that. <clears throat> now, this pot, if you've seen my cooking baking videos, you know that I like the Temptations, Blue Temptations wear from QVC and that I go to QVC outlet in Pennsylvania to buy it. I don't buy it on, on the TV. And I went up there and they had this pot, metal, ceramic, uh, what do you call that? The glazed metal. And it's got the full innards so you can make coffee perk it. It's a percolator. Cowboy coffee, we call it, because it's like what they would cook over the um, fire outside. So when the power goes off and there's a storm or we're, or we're camping or something like that, I can have a pretty little pot to take and we don't have to worry about not having electricity. We can make cowboy coffee by using the filter inside and putting water in it and boiling the coffee. So this one normally, if you bought it on the TV on the air price is $33 at the outlet, it's normally $29.37, but they had 40% off, so I bought it for $17.73, which for this kind of quality and all the innards, all the, uh, I'm trying to make it darker so you can see, that type of thing, all comes with it. I thought that was worth it. What happened before was when the, when our power went out, we had the power go out before, and we had to use our grill to heat up water for coffee in the morning. And my husband was getting impatient with how long it was taking the grill to work, so he put the lid down on it. And it was my, you've seen it on my stove, my bright red Rubbermaid uh, tea kettle, and it has rubberized handle and rubber... Yeah, it melted the rubberized stuff all over on my tea kettle. So at least this wouldn't do that if you close the lid. <laughs> There's nothing to melt. I'll check comments again. Am I clear? I saw an uh-oh. Wait a minute. 
Yeah. Brenda, my new me says she loves that the pot isn't attached. That's right. You can pick up the pot and just walk around with it. <laughs> she loves the red. Yeah, me too. Hello, Sharon. Bama Grits. All right, just give me a second to check comments. Make sure I don't have to answer any questions or anyone. Sharon says, hit the thumbs up. Not one is up. Oh, no. Sharon, I'm making you a moderator, Sharon. I don't know if you were before or not, but you are now. Okay. Good morning. Brenda, I loved your new cooker in the vid. Yeah, that was a great looking pressure cooker she showed. That's uh, my new me says my grandparents had one of those. That's how I first learned to make coffee. It was a big deal for grandma to let me make their coffee in that. That's fun. Okay, Angie's here. Hello, Angie. There she is. Hi, Angie. I've done that boiled water on the grill and then poured it through the coffee maker. Yeah, it could be done. I hit the thumbs up. Thank you, everyone. That helps. Helps my channel. Okay, I think I'm officially in love with that Kasori pressure cooker. Good. I'm glad it's working for you, Brenda. All right, the next thing I want to show you, I didn't get this weekend. Again, I got it like a week or two ago at the Goodwill. But it's something I had been looking for for years, and I didn't want to pay the big bucks that the regular stores would charge. We've lived in seafaring areas. We lived in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and now we live in, uh, near the coast in Maryland. And we like to do clam steams and and uh, things like that. And I've also needed big kettle or, let me show you. So I found this great big pot, stainless. And it has this inner drainer thing. Do you know how much these things sell for? I've looked at the cheap ones, and even those were $50, $60. Once in a while, you know, and smaller ones you might be able to get for $20 or $30. But this Jigunda one, I found at the Goodwill for $20, bucks, and I was very excited. So now with our large family, I can steam a lot of seafood and corn and all that. What our family has done before is we get chicken wire, and we make baskets to set in here and stack, and we can put all different foods in the different baskets, clams and things like that. So I was happy to find this. It looks brand new. I it It's not brand new, because I can tell there's a little wear on it, but it is close to be. I think it's only been used a couple of times. It is lovely here, Jerry. <laughs> That's a deal. Yeah, you know what they cost. Uh, it, they can go over $100, those pots. Great find. Great deal. Thank you. I am a frugal shopper. I do my best. And I lived frugal all my life when we were raising the kids. So now that we're not, money isn't so tight, I can spend a few bucks and get things. But I still am frugal. I don't spend lots. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put away my bandanas so I can use the table for showing other things. I'm just going to throw these in a box to get them out of the way. Now, another store we went to up in Pennsylvania, and they're elsewhere. They're not just in Pennsylvania. was the Christmas tree shop. And first I'll show you these two. They had 75% off Christmas stuff still. So I think I paid 39 cents for gingerbread cookies. My husband likes them with his uh, coffee. And I can reuse that tin if I wanted to. 
And then they had this cute little frozen uh, countdown to Christmas. And I have an eight-year-old granddaughter, and I thought I'll put that away for her. It's got milk chocolate inside. I don't think it would matter if it was a year from now if it's wrapped up milk chocolate in there. So that was like 29 or 39 cents. So that was just a couple of little nothing things that cost practically nothing. But this is one of the main reasons I went to the Christmas tree shop. They sell seeds. They sell heirloom seeds. And everything was half price. So I've got tons of heirloom seeds at the Christmas tree shops. Mostly uh, cold weather crops that I can put out now. And some tomatoes and peppers that I'm going to start indoors this week. So I've got the spinach and turnips and cabbage. Other things i got to wait on. Beans I have to wait on. Cauliflower I put out. Parsley I can put out now. Peppers. I got Anaheim and banana. Nasturtiums, which you can eat as well. The flowers. I got some uh, uh, thyme. Chamomile for tea. I love spaghetti squash. And I make lots and lots of meals with lots of different dishes with this. Sweet and savory. And I think I'm going to do a series of cooking videos on how I use the spaghetti squash. Because it's also helpful in losing when you're losing weight to use it to replace other things that are fattening. More cabbage, more beans. <laughs> Tell you, I went a little crazy, but at half price, why not? And just about every one of them are heirloom. Beans, carrots, more tomatoes. I got San Marzano, Roma. Uh, mortgage lifter. I love poblama peppers. You can stuff those. They're not too hot, but they got a little kick. So I got Anaheim, poblano, banana peppers, early jalapeno peppers, better boy tomato, more Roma tomato. I got more herbs, basil. I got butternut squash, and I got the tumbler hybrid tomato. These are really sweet, and they are patio size. They're good for containers. So almost every one of these is an heirloom. And I'm pretty sure that means that they can't grow them in an area where they will be cross-pollinated with other things or they won't stay heirloom. Alrighty, let's see. More comments. Alright, nice theme pot. Uh, awesome find. Your hair looks very nice today. Thank you. I threw some curlers in it last night. Sorry, just got here. My sister Jody with another wrench. <laughs> so everyone say hello to my sister Jody. Jody Malm. She is six years younger than I am. that it doesn't look nice in every other video but it looks extra nice today yeah I took a little time with it today it is Valentine's Day after all we're going out to eat tonight he's taking me out to a fancy restaurant um, uh, we're going on the eastern shore of Maryland to the Fisherman's Inn my daughter had a chance to work on the Chesapeake Bay as a marine biologist and she but she had my granddaughter Haha, ha, Brenda, good one. She does always look great. I'd make more videos if I didn't have to get spruced up first. <laughs> well, you've seen me, golly. I mean, the one I put out from um, <laughs> when we were at the motel, when I got up early in the morning at the motel, that was pretty scary. Rolled out of bed and washed my face and turned on the camera. It was kind of scary. Okay, nice on the seeds, yes. I'm frugal. I just like to buy your mittens and help support you. And I love you and your channel. Love Frozen. Nice buy. Your granddaughter will enjoy it. Yeah, I think she will. I have that cookie tin. I collect gingerbread. Cool, Brenda. Nice. We know what you'll be doing, Bandana, planting that garden. Yeah, my yard is a mess. I've neglected it all winter, and I need to get out there. And we're supposed to be having some mild days coming up. 
before we get cold again. So I think I'll be out there. You may see some videos of me working in the garden. I love going to the Christmas tree shop when I was back home, says Cat Lover. Yeah, it has everything. The name is so deceiving. I always wonder how much people don't, maybe there's people that don't go there because they think it's all Christmas stuff when it definitely is not. They have everything, housing, housewares, um, decorative things, furniture, towel sheets, seeds, lots of gardening stuff. Laura says she loves spaghetti sauce. I'd love to know some good spaghetti squash, squash recipes. Yeah, I think I'm going to put together a little pamphlet and maybe sell that too because there's not a, every time I look up how to cook spaghetti squash to see what people are doing, it's all pretty much the same thing. They just put spaghetti sauce on it and some cheese or something and there's so much more you can do with it. Yes, yeah, spaghetti squash is really good for Weight Watchers. That's why I use it a lot. It replaces a lot of things. How did the boy like the Spam and pasta, Brenda? I saw that video where Brenda made her recipe with Spam and pasta in her new cooker. Christy ordered some seeds. Yeah, M.I. Gardener is a good place to get seeds. He sells them for 99 cents a pack, and he puts a lot of seeds in them usually, more than you, buy, you get in many store packs, and they're good quality. <clears throat> okay. Shh. Jody's at work. Don't don't say hi too loud. <laughs> Who besides me is cooking for Valentine's? Not me. We're going out tonight. Hi, Jody, younger sister. Sounds good. I love seafood. Yeah, my husband will get will get probably steak, and I'll probably get scallops and crab cakes or something. Thank you, Brenda, saying you hope I enjoy my evening. I need some bandanas then. <laughs> enjoy your Valentine's. My yard is mud. I love the Christmas tree shop. Yeah, it's great. It's a great store. I'm always excited when we go there. Where to order seeds? M. I. Gardener. He has a YouTube channel. He is a gardener extraordinaire. M. I. is in Michigan, I think. M. I. Gardener. And he's also going to be at the Homesteaders of America conference this October, so I'm going to get to meet him. Right, Spanooper, she called her, her Spam and uh, Noodle Dish. My husband is on vacation today, so I'm hoping he will make dinner for me. I spent last night d dipping strawberries and pineapple. Oh, Jody, does, does Jimmy cook often? Or when, occasionally when he can? I know he grills. It's so long since I've had good seafood. Well, this restaurant makes good seafood. It's our, I think twice a year we splurge on dinner at a good restaurant and Valentine's one and then our anniversary in October, we splurge again. He makes sauce, so I figured he'll have something Italian. Yep, <laughs> put that man to work. Okay, let me put my seeds away and I'll show you my next round of shopping. Now I know a lot of people are concerned about GMO and seeds. <clears throat> and this may cause some controversy which I don't like to have on my channel, but I'll just say, do your research and find out yourself. But it's my understanding that any seed you buy in small packages from any of the stores, no matter who packs them, are not GMO. They are non-GMO because only the big farmer seeds that come in the sacks that big areas of land are covered because they're farmer seeds, those are the ones that are genetically modified. I could be wrong, but from the things I've read, and I didn't want to believe that at first, I thought, oh, they're just trying to pull it over on us. I think we're pretty safe that the ones you buy in small packages are not genetically modified. So you do what you think best, but that's what I'm leaning toward right now. Can anyone see my chat? I think it may not be working. North Dakota Pink, that's your first thing I've seen. Hi, Julie. I just saw that's your first one. 
So if you put some earlier, I missed it. I don't know. It might have shown, but I didn't see it. Okay. White picket fence says she cooked yesterday. Had cute, crazy delivered today. All right. I'm going to bring the next bunch of stuff over of what I bought and tell you where it's from. see my mitten mess out there that's where I'm sewing mittens all right back down to the table this haul is from Ollie's do any of you have Ollie's outlets up your way we love Ollie's one thing they're wonderful for is books and this these came as a set best love card games and each little one tells you all about the the, the um, history of the card game and how to play the different card games. So there's many different solitaire games in here. Blackjack and Casino, Texas Hold'em, family card games, card games for one or two, bridge, how to play bridge. I always thought I might want to learn how to play bridge. Pinochle, I don't know how to play that either. Favorite card games, Rummy, and back to solitaire. I got all these in a package for $1.99. Is that a deal or what? I think that would make a great little stocking stuff for two. I should have bought more for this Christmas to give away to my older sons as uh, gifts. So, But we'll probably be going back, and I might pick up some more to put away as stocking stuffers. Now, also at Ollie's, I got these for the grandkids. You can draw really nice, detailed books on how to draw. All kinds of things, from cartoony things to real life, still life, all kinds of people, portraits, all kinds of things. You can draw it all. Includes tips and techniques. See that price? A dollar ninety-nine. What a nice gift that is, right? Don't have to break the bank to buy nice gifts. This is another one that's similar but a different. So I got. Let's see, two of the pink ones and one of this blue one to give my granddaughters that are in Maryland, not my ones that are in uh, Massachusetts. She'll get other things. And I got a canning book. This is all about jams, jellies, fruits. So it'd be water bath canning, I think. And it was $5. So that was a little more money, but it was interesting to me. And I thought I could use it on my channel when I do some canning. This looked like a lot of fun. This is Church Potluck Sunday Supper's Cookbook Bake Sale Cookbook. So it's three books in one, favorite brand names. And it's, it's nicely made. It's got a spiral. It's a plastic spiral, but it's a spiral. Church Potluck Sunday Supper's Bake Sale. And they're broken down into categories. Really nice book, I think. So I'll probably be making a few recipes out of this for my channel as well. And this one was a little pricey. It was $7. But as cookbooks go, and because of my channel, I thought I would use it. I love Taste of Home magazine. Do any of you get that? Or have you gotten it and love it? Love their recipes. And these are contest winners, annual, annual recipes for 2016. So every one of these has been a contest winner. So you know if it's Taste of Home, they're good. And if they're all contest winners, they must be excellent. So I picked that up for $2.99. And I'll be making stuff with that. And this one, I don't know if Tara showed up yet or not. But when Tara was in Pennsylvania last fall, I think it was, I met her there from Living on a Dime, and Ellie, her daughter, was with us, and we went to the Bird in Hand Farmer's Market, and she couldn't get enough whoopie pies. She loved the whoopie pies, and 
Uh, I know Tara has a couple, uh, I think, recipes in her book for whoopie pie. But I couldn't pass this up when I saw it. I'm going to send it to Ellie because it's all kinds of whoopie pies in here. It's kind of a joke book, but also useful. So I'm going to send Ellie this whoopie pie book. <laughs> now these books, I didn't just get there, but I got them there at other times because we go up there, you know, several times a year. And I want to show you, just to let you know, Ollie's has great books. Easy Homemade Preserves. Another canning book. Really cute. Lots of beautiful, look at the quality, nice pictures. Got a metal, a metal bind, binder, spiral. And that was only $2.99. Little book, but a lot in it. And then they had Fix It and Forget It Christmas Slow Cooker Feasts. So you get holiday things. Doesn't have the pictures, but it's Fix It and Forget It for Slow Cookers. That was $3.99. Normally $20.99. Marked down to thirteen fifty six, and I got it for three ninety nine. And again, Taste a Home. I love Taste a Home, and this is made very much like the Betty Crocker cookbook. It's, it's got the heavy um, class um, notebook type spirals in here, clamps. All you know, it's a beautiful cookbook, and I paid nine ninety nine for that at one time. It wasn't this trip; it was another trip. And this book, I also got up there and love it, and it's America's Test Kitchen. If you watch them on TV, they test all kinds of recipes to find the best way to cook like an apple pie, and they tell you why. So, again, this is made very similar with the binders and all. Beautiful book. And this one, I can't tell you how much it was because the sticker's not on it. But it's probably similar. It's probably $9.99 like that one was. So... That's what I got at Ollie's at this trip and in other trips as far as the books go. I wanted to show you those to see the variety. My husband gets um, military books and history books. They have a lot of inspirational books there. They have Amish inspirational books as far as, you know, little love stories with a message and things like that. <clears throat> so let me get these out of the way. I still got more to go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not done. This was also Ollie's. I'm trying to decide whether to keep coloring my hair or not, and I almost wasn't going to buy any more hair color for a while just to see. But then this was Clairol, age-defying, on sale for $2.99. I had to get it because I've been paying $8 to $12 to color my own. I do it myself. but So I got two of those. So if I decide to keep going, I got it cheap anyway. I have a granddaughter who has a birthday in February. She loves chickens. <laughs> so I had to get her this chicken. I don't know. It was 3 or $4, I think. But I, she'll, she'll have a big laugh over that because she likes chickens. Then I had seen this advertised before. It's a light. You, it's got a switch, but it's these things here that light up. This whole plate lights up. So I was going to put this out in our shed that has no lights out there. And then when you go in the shed, you throw the switch and when you hook the batteries up inside, it will shine the light. It was four bucks. And I needed caraway seed for making my rye bread. And these were two dollars each, not too bad for McCormick. It's you know McCormick brand. And then I also got mustard seed for the same price, two dollars. Which for McCormick is a good deal. And I got me some hair hair snappy things and I also got one for my daughter and it's gone uh, she likes feathers and this was a big heavy hair clamp that had a, a metal feather on it so we'll put these away I'll check the comments and then we'll go on to the next score I got told you we did a lot of shopping Okay. Yep, people love the Taste of Home magazine. Me too. I was really glad to get that cookbook because they put the best of it into a book. Angie had a go. Bye, Angie. 
everyone you, you want to watch Angie's channel too she not only does a lot of canning but she features a lot of other channels on her on her uh, channel and it's a nice channel eat my let's see uh, Angie's pantry yes pretty large books for those price that's true Give me a minute just to go through. I love the magazine. I love Taste of Home. That's my go-to. You collect books like I do. Yeah, I've got a shelf up in my pantry. It's in my uh, corner cabinet. It's getting kind of crowded up there. Awesome deals. <laughs> and Addie's trying to talk to us. Brenda's cat. I would love that baking book. It's a good book. I got my best apple pie recipe out of that. They had some tips in there, which I share when I, what I'm going to share when I make my next pie from my scratch. Oh, North Dakota Pink has to go, I think. Bye, Julie. Cute, cute chicken. Yeah, she's going to love that. Keep going on the hair color. <laughs> yeah, Jody wants me to keep going on the hair color. <laughs> my sister. Our sister Patty put one of those lights on her side of the back porch. How's it working, Judge? I've been letting my hair color grow out. I'm forever blonde as long as they make <laughs> so color number 11. Bomber girls. Bomber grits. Sharon. We need to kidnap Bandana Grandma and visit her stores. Yeah. You're in Amish country, aren't you? Um, Colleen, you should have like at least, at least the um, fabric outlet around you. I love her Thrive Life recipes. I use them too. I want to go shopping with you. Great deals. Okay, I've got a deal in the in the parlor. I'm going to show you that you're not going to believe. Do you have links to everyone's channels? Uh, on YouTube, if you look next to everyone's comment, there'll be three dots. If you go over there and hover your cursor over those three dots by their name, you can click on go to channel. You won't leave this channel, but it'll bring up their channel and you can subscribe to them right there like that. So just hover there. Mr. Rain is here. Rain Man, welcome. Welcome to Bandana Grandma channel. Don't see you very often, and I'm delighted you're here. Congrats, Daniel, on the 10K. So that must mean go for green living is in. Hello, Daniel. Glad to have you here. That light is bright. That's. I wonder how long the batteries last. I think they must be like LEDs or something, right? I didn't read it that close. I'm not going gray. It's platinum blonde. Yeah. <laughs> My granddaughter said my hair is silvery. We have several Amish and Mennonite communities, but due south is Shipshawana, and it's immense. Okay. Laura, my hair is black and white. You know, some hair looks wonderful going gray or white or silver. Some people have most beautiful highlights when they let it go. Some just get mousy gray, and then we get veined. And we don't like it. <laughs> so, hey, look who is here, my Heidi. Hello, Heidi from Rain Country. I love you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and she doesn't need my support. She's got a great big, cha a great channel, and it's growing nicely. But Rain Country has the best stuff on their channel. So, if you're not a subscriber, I am going to say go subscribe to Rain Country. She does so many things other people don't do from making salves and lotions and potions and all kinds of stuff with uh, her garden herbs and a lot of cooking. This is what my head looks like, and he's got a bald head. <laughs> Thank you, sweet lady. Thank you, Rain. Miss Heidi. Okay, I've been showing all the stuff I bought when we were away this weekend. I have been trying... Oh, I forgot something. Thank you for mentioning Greenhouse. When we were at Christmas tree shops, my husband bought me another greenhouse. I don't have it here. It's in the trunk of the car. 
It's just one of those cheapy ones that's got the tubular legs and the vinyl cover that goes over it, but it's big enough to walk inside. It's just like the other one I had, but they don't last, you know, if you leave them out, two years is about tops. And so I need a new one, but I love it because it's got shelves all around and you can walk right inside and it works great. So I've got, you'll be seeing me putting up the new greenhouse too. My hubs remarked how gray my hair was in the sunlight. Then he saved himself by waxing poetic. Yeah. <laughs> they try and talk themselves out of trouble, don't they? The gray looks like fireworks. Yeah. I know. I'm tempted. And like I said, I almost let it go natural. And then I caved when I saw that uh, I could get the color at like $2.99 a box. <laughs> so maybe in the future. Maybe in the future I'll go more natural. Now, that's another thing bandanas are good for is that when the gray starts growing out, it covers them up. Uh, Heidi looks beautiful with her natural hair. You know, she, it just looks beautiful on her. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to work myself to that point, I think. All right. My next, my next uh, haul I'm showing you. I went to a Mennonite thrift store. They have these thrift stores up in Pennsylvania called Reuse It Shops. And this one, it was a one time, it must have been a, a department store because it's got elevators, tons of floors, big, big rooms, all the racks, everything is organized, everything is labeled, everything is neat as a pin, beautiful. And the Mennonite folks um, volunteer their time there and keep it beautiful. And then they raise money for the Mennonite missions through this. So I love going to that store and the prices are pretty good. Not something, one thing I got, I wish it was a little lower. Well, a couple things. But usually you can find some good things there. So here's what I got at the Mennonite Reuse It shop. Let me get over to my counter. Now, you know the Mennonites and the Amish do a lot of sewing. So they did have a sewing section there. And I found some vintage buttons. And I was so happy. Some of them were good price. Some of them were not. But I bought them because I really wanted them. I should turn some. There. So, oh, you can't see. Let me darken it if I can. It should darken. This is white pearlized buttons. Darken up a little. Okay. These are white pearlized buttons. I don't know how old they are but they're vintage for sure and they marked them to 50 cents which is a good good price they were normally 49 cents so you know that's a good price nowadays if they were 49 back in the day and i got two of those and i'll be using them on my mittens and here's some more and these for some reason they sold for 29 and they marked them two dollars is that ridiculous the other ones were 50 cents. Why were these $2? I don't know, but I wanted them, so I bought them. All right, then I got a couple of blues. These are all vintage. And these were 50 cents, so that was a good price. I have this one mitten I make where I put three buttons on it going down in a diagonal, so that'll look nice with these. Then I got yellow. Can you see? I'm trying to get it in the light. There, that's a little better. I got some. Very pretty. And these were $2. These were $2. You now, more than I wanted to spend on them, but I wanted vintage. I want my mutt. I want to be able to put beautiful vintage buttons on my mittens. I was happy to find the green ones because I have some green striped fabric I use. And there. Can you see those? Yeah, those were $2 too. See, so it cost me. If I put one button on each, I get two pairs of mittens out of that. But on this size, I might put two buttons on each. So it costs a little money to make the mittens with those. And then these are also blue. So all vintage buttons, they were 50 cents. I don't know how they figured their, their prices, but that's what they were marked. All right, then I got a jar of buttons. Now, I started sorting them. So these buttons here were inside this jar. 
these are all the same thing. I'll show you. They're pretty. They're a basket weave metal. Can you see that? A basket weave metal button. This whole thing is full of the same button. So I got those. And these were fancier buttons that I pulled out of the, the jar. Some with color on them. Let's see, we got... I got like six or seven of these eagle buttons. We got, <laughs> I want to see what this says because it looks like it's got a pretzel on it. I can't read it, but it looks like in the middle there's a pretzel on it. <laughs> and I probably got six or seven of those. Then they had, where's one? It had some nice red and green colored ones. Here, here's a green one with a sparkle in the middle with green on around the outside. I got a few of those. This one has green in the middle. I got a few of those. And I also got some with red, if I can find it. Only a couple. All right, this one. This one has some red in the middle. So these were the fancier buttons that I put in this this little jar. And then the rest are very nice buttons. I just haven't gone through and... Oh wait, I have more in here. These were the bigger buttons. There weren't too many matches in this one. They were kind of singles. But they had bigger coat buttons. And these are pretty much all that. All metal buttons all sizes. A lot of these, there's, yeah, and a lot of these little tiny cute braided ones. So I paid five dollars for this jar, which for all metal buttons probably is a deal. And I also got this Dritz uh, assorted repair needles. So you got your darning needles and your uh, carpet carpet needles and coats and deck chairs and all that kind of stuff. I do have a suitcase that needs mending, so I'm thinking I can use one of these on that. So that's my sewing stuff I got there. <clears throat> I also couldn't pass this up. This is a pajama top. It's new. There were no bottoms, but I thought I, because I love the colors pink and gray, it is super soft. It's my size. And I could just get some gray sweatpants or gray yoga pants or something to wear with this. I paid a little more than I wanted to, but it is new. I paid $6 for it. But it's so soft, and it's the colors I love. So I said, get a pair of cheap yoga pants, and it'll be a good pair of pajamas for me. So I got that. Okay, back to the comments. Back talking about hair. Do what makes you happy. I would love to go to one of those shops. Yeah, the the Amish, the Mennonite shops, they've got quite a few up in Pennsylvania. I mean, within a half hour's drive, you might find several. Rain country. My mom is the only one that complains about my gray hair. No, you look beautiful, Heidi. Some of, some of us go gray less uh, gracefully than others. God paints your hair the way he wants. Sometimes he reduces the amount of hair you have. I am more streamlined with the lack of hair. There you go, Patrick. My cousin's hair went salt and pepper at 25. Yep. Some, some go silver in their 20s. That's amazing. My daughter's mother-in-law is totally silver and she's beautiful. Good morning, says Angie. Oh, she says, I look pretty today. Yeah, I put a little war paint on. I curled my hair. And I put on a, a Valentine outfit. Okay. Your hair looks so pretty. Thank you. Sometimes if I cover camera for a second and release, it darkens the view. Oh, you mean the not the screen, but the actual 
camera lens part. I'll try that, Joge, when it does that. Thank you, sis. My sisters are always saying, go to my hairdresser. She'll make you nice and fine dyes that won't irritate. I think Laura said she has trouble with hair dye. Except that my hair will be white. It's okay because they say you're wise. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, and I'm told that the darker the hair dye, the more um, detrimental it is to you. So I kind of talk myself into thinking, well, mine's not too dark, so it can't be that dangerous, right? <laughs> yep, Brenda loves that jar of buttons. I do too. I keep looking for jars of buttons. Sometimes they're like $15 a jar when you find them, and I don't buy those. But when I saw it for five, and there were so many, and they were all metal, so they got to be worth something. Yes. Yes, Jody, those are the metal buttons I said I'd share with you. I thought this was a wrench turning greasy hand mechanic show. What? I don't know what he's saying, but just for that, I'm going to make him a moderator. <laughs> okay. Sis wants some buttons. <laughs> yeah. I did tell her I was going to share them with her. I did offer. Yep. I didn't show them to her yet. I just told her I got a lot of nice ones. Cool buttons. Yeah, yeah. We love the buttons. Oh, that's right. Mr. Rain actually makes wooden buttons for Heidi. I call her Heidi because we have a daughter, Heidi, and that's what we call our daughter. It's an endearing term, Heidi. Not easy to find either. Nope. Sue, you have a lot of history in all the buttons. I love that thought, Laura. You're right. Glass or porcelain or brass cabinet knobs are cool. Uh-huh. Six dollars is less than what it would cost for the fabric to make that. You're right, Heidi. And I like it. I really like it. So, I wish you could feel it. It is so buttery soft. It's going to feel good to sleep in. Bandana. Mr. Rain is being a brat. Oh, dear. And I just gave him a wrench. I like buttons also. Also, that's Daniel. Yeah, buttons are fun. And, you know, kids love to play with the grandkids come. They love to play with buttons. I can get them to sort them sometimes, you know. Go through here and sort them. It's like a, a match it game, you know. All right. I have more stuff to show you. I'm not done yet. I've got stuff in the parlor. All right, so I'm going to pick you up. Hang tight. I'm going to pick you up and carry you to the parlor so you don't get seasick while I move you. You can see I've got stuff set out here. Looking kind of messy because I was going to show you what I bought. my cup again. That tickle in my throat. <coughs> All right. This <coughs> was a mega find for me. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I'm making mittens out of recycled sweaters, wool sweaters. She's going to need some frugal recipes because she left all her grocery money in Pennsylvania. You're right. But I also have canned goods downstairs and, and I can uh, use my stored up goods. I went to a Goodwill in Pennsylvania. Now this Goodwill, they have a regular Goodwill on one side of the building. And on the other side, left side of the building, they have what they call the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> I mean, how cheap can it be to have a Goodwill and then a Goodwill outlet, you know? <laughs> so I went into the Goodwill outlet and the sweaters that I've had to pay like $8 a piece for these wool sweaters, even if they were torn, even if they had moth holes in them that I was cutting them up and using them for my mittens, 
they still would want the eight dollars for them. I think they knew people were buying them now to make stuff out of. So, yeah, I went into this goods, the uh, outlet part, and it was table after large table after large table, just rows and rows of these tables with like four or five inch sides on them. And the guy with the rolling, huge rolling bins would come out bin after bin after bin and dump stuff on these tables. There must have been five, 10, 15, 20, 30 tables in there that they were filling up. And there were regulars there who go every day. I think they go through and they get stuff cheap and then they resell it and make you know business out of it. So they were there very seriously going through things. And <clears throat> I went looking for my wool sweaters. And what they do is they charge you by the pound. Instead of charging you for the individual piece of the garment, they charge you by the pound. I think it was $1.56 a pound or something like that. And they have a, a little weight thing. You roll your cart onto it and they take the cart weight off and then you pay $1.56 per pound of what's left over. So I was able to get sweaters a whole lot less money than what I had been paying before, which is good because the, the mittens were getting costly to make when I had to pay $8 a sweater and buy the fleece and buy the buttons and the thread and all that. So, and then, you know, it takes me like four hours. I think Jody can make them quicker, but it takes me about four hours to make a pair of mittens with, from start to finish. Because you can have an, a liner and you make two pairs of mittens for every pair. <clears throat> anyway, let me show you what I got. First of all, there was a couple things in those bins that I'm not going to use for sweaters. This one I was a little iffy about because it's kind of boxy, but it's an Alfred Dunner. It's in a size that I can wear and normally they had it on the other side for marked down to six dollars and fifty cents but I got it for just a couple of for less than two dollars I think because I got it at the per pound price so I'm going to send that to the cleaners and I'm going to decide if I want to alter it in any way with sewing and I, I love the color this is this is a color I like to wear cornflower blue and we'll see if I can, I don't like it so boxy. I might want to, you know, it's got princess seams on it. So I could do something there. I could embroider. I could do lots of things, but I wasn't going to leave that there until I at least attempted to see if I could do something with it to see if I liked it. This I think was a great find. It again was in those bins at $1.56 a pound. It's a Liz Claiborne, which is a good name. It's in my size. And there is not a thing wrong with this jacket. It has beautiful buttons. I can wear it. And I needed a I needed a coat like this. So for just a few bucks, I got this beautiful Liz Claiborne coat. Isn't it nice? And it's red. <laughs> Blue is my favorite color, but I love red too. And I can wear red pretty well. Now, also, when I was looking for sweaters, I found this blanket there. And this has what feels like shrunken felted wool on it, and it's lined with fleece. And I just might be able to make mittens out of this, too. I love the coral color. So I bought this at the poundage price, hoping that I will try to make some sample mittens and see how it works up, because there's a lot of it here and I can mix and match this with other prints that have this color in it. And I might be able to come up with some really nice mittens with this as well, even though it's not a true sweater. <clears throat> and this I also bought to use in the house. It's just a, uh, a simple bedspread. I like the ones with all the stitching in it like this to have in the closet to use as extra warmth. And there wasn't a thing wrong with it. I'm just going to wash it up and use it in the house as a, as a bedspread. I try to remember if it was a double or a twin. The tag's kind of worn off. Doesn't matter. We'll use it. We got twin beds and we got bigger beds. So I'll wash that up. And now for the mitten sweaters. I got 11 of them. I didn't have this color. And look at those nice buttons. This one came with nice buttons too that I could either reuse or put them on the mittens. So I got hot pink. I did not get this sweater there. This is one I had, but I wanted to show you that, you know, I can use these colors to mix and match to make the different mittens. And 
that hot pink will go nice with that one. And I got kind of a sky blue, pale sky blue. These are all wool. I got some gray, which again, there's gray in here. It looked nice with this sweater. I got purple. I'm always looking for purple. This is a purple one. I can make something up with that. This is cashmere. This is a cashmere sweater. I almost want to give it to my daughter Heidi. She could probably wear it. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. A beautiful pale pink cashmere for a dollar fifty-six a pound. This is a heavy wool. It's a small sweater with this gigunda turtleneck type thing, cowl neck. But I'll cut that up for mittens. So I'll make a nice. Uh, brown that I can mix and match. And somebody asked me about having some burnt orange, if I'd make burnt orange mittens, and I think this color might make it. It's wool. I think it's merino wool, made in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful hand on it. it feels nice and soft. So I think I can make the burnt orange mittens somebody requested out of that. And here's a bright green that kind of blue aqua through it. It's a mottled looking. And here's a beige color with nice buttons. Another gray. And all these were like $1.56 a pound. Just throw them in a, on the scale and they weigh them up and you, you buy them. And here's a black I can use for contrast and stuff. So yes, I finally got some sweaters that will make making the mittens not so expensive for me. Good find in all the sweaters, co colors and buttons. Yes, I agree. I was really happy. Ah, she gets some for 99 cents a pound. That's great. Well, let me see. If I can get back up to the top. And then I have one more find to show you and then some And then some uh, crafty stuff. All right. Mr. Rain's being a brat. Okay, I'm back up to that. Okay, my mom had a Christmas cookie tin, Mr. Rain, full of buttons she saved from old clothes. That's a good thing to do. They're, they're worth something. Prayers for my grand girl, Michaela. Please, she's sick, came today, went straight back to sleep. Oh, okay, Christy. I'll pray now. Lord and Father, we ask you to be with Christy Betz's little granddaughter who's not feeling well today, Father. All of us here in the room who are believers, Lord, we pray for her and ask that you minister to her and ease her pain or headache or cold symptoms or whatever it is she has, Lord, and help her to feel better today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I need to go to that place, says my new me. Yeah. Squeaky wrench. Yep, Mr. Rain has a squeaky wrench, too. We have a few here in Indianapolis. I think she means the uh, Goodwill outlets. Old t-shirts make great shop rags. That's true. I love that jacket. Very pretty. It would look great with some pretty scarves. Yep. Yeah, Sarah May, 99 cents a pound for the outlets is great, especially if you can find good stuff there. That color looks terrible on me. <laughs> I know he's kidding. I love Liz Claiborne, says Laura. Very nice coat. Oh, wow. Good buttons, I guess. I drove around your city years ago, Sarah, twice because I missed my turn. <laughs> All right. Easy to get lost. Yep. You are a creative lady, Mr. Bandana. I try. I try. Every time I find wool sweaters to make mittens with, our niece Vicki takes them from me to wear. 
Well, don't show them to her. <laughs> That's my sister saying that, our niece. We have the same niece, Vicki. Bandana grandma, good find on all the sweaters, nice colors and buttons. Yeah, the kids always like to shop at my house. Christy Betts, yep. Hi, love you. Ah, Maria, hello, honey. Glad you're here. Amen, 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 amen for the prayer. Good. How do you earn a wrench? Well, Laura, you earn a wrench just like that. Now you should have a wrench. You might have to refresh your page to see it. Thank you. She heard her mom and I talking about trying elderberry syrup. She said she really needed cough, cough berry syrup. That's so cute. <laughs> I took elderberry syrup this morning. I've been taking it for a few days now. There's so much cold and flu going around. So far, I'm okay. But, you know, everybody's getting it. Cool, thanks. There you go, Laura. You got a wrench. <laughs> wrench seekers arise. <laughs> All right. One more thing I'm going to show you, and my daughters were blown away by this. It's another Christmas markdown. I went to Dollar General. This is... This is before we went away. It wasn't while we were in Pennsylvania. It was around here just the week before we went away. And I went into the Dollar General because I had a year ago bought this big, thick puzzle book that I love doing these. Um, it's cryptograms where you have to decipher uh, codes and all. It was all mixed matches types of puzzles. I'm not real crazy about the word seek puzzles. Those are boring to me. But I like crosswords, and I like the ones where you have to kind of break the codes to, like, uh, you have a saying, and it's all in different letters, and you have to break it down to figure out what, what the phrase of the saying is. Anyway, I went to see if they had another one of those, and he didn't. And I was ready to leave, and he just said to me, well, I'm sorry I couldn't help you with that, but we do have some Christmas markdowns now. And I had seen when I came in, they had this cheapy stuff up front, and I wasn't interested. And he said, 10 cents each for all the Christmas stuff. And I said, well, and he said, I got, I didn't, I have some I didn't bring out yet. I have Christmas uh, boxes. And, you know, I'm thinking the three boxes in a, in a pack, you know, where you, you can wrap presents in these boxes with the pictures on them. You know, and I've got tons of those I save every year. So I was thinking, I don't think so. Um, he said, well, really, you really should take a look before you decide. I said, okay, I'll take a look. He had to go back in the back room and get it. So I had to wait a few minutes and bring it out. And I'm thinking, I don't need any more of those gift boxes, you know. And he goes out with this and he opens the box. And I said, are the gift boxes in that box? He says, no, that's them. And he says, 10 cents each for as many as you want. This is what I saw when he opened the box. Can you believe these things sell for like $12 and inside each one of these 10 cents, they go down in size. There's seven of them in here, all the way down to this size and they're all beautiful. Look at this. Looks like a, it's like a picture puzzle. 10 cents. Another one. 10 cents. Another one. 10 cents. All the way down like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of them. 70 cents for all these boxes. <laughs> I said, how many you got? He says, I've got four four sets. I said, I'll take everything you got. So I was so glad that I waited to see these gift boxes, thinking they were those cheapy things that I had too many of already. It's just crazy. And the other set, there's, there's two different sets in each of these boxes, and I got two of these boxes. So let me show you the other set. <clears throat> Got 
cardinals in a tree. Isn't that beautiful? Golds and greens. And joy. It says joy up here. More cardinals. This one says peace. These are beautiful. More joy. So these are these are all pretty similar, but they got there's seven of them, just like the others. And they have a Velcro clasp on them, and they're sturdy. Got a ribbon. They've got glittery stuff on them. They're just gorgeous. Ten cents each. Am I the shopper or what? You know. <laughs> wow. So my daughters came and I was showing them and they were so excited. I said, 10 cents each, we'll have a best looking Christmas tree next year underneath the presents. Okay, bye, Mr. Rain. Yeah, my daughter Jennifer on the east, well, close to us, she has a big elderberry tree in her yard that she's never done anything with. And she told me I could come over and uh, see if I can gather yeah, I think they're really up high in a tree though I don't know how easily I can get to the berries and she does says it's putting out shoots but she says they're surface roots and she thinks I'll be sorry if I plant it around here I don't know if I could plant it in a big tub and grow some for a while I might try that I don't know what kind of elderberry it is because I think there are different kinds but what does Laura know about the responsibility of having a wrench Laura is on a lot a lot of uh, um, I know Laura. Laura and I converse a lot, and she's on a lot of websites, and I'm pretty sure she knows what wrenches do. In other words, I trust Laura. <laughs> I wouldn't give it to just anybody. Oh, wow, what a bargain. Oh, wow, those boxes are beautiful. They are. They're just gorgeous. I was so blessed with that. And that he just came up to me in the store. I said, do you have a puzzle book? No, sorry, but I got this stuff I'm bringing out if you want to look at it. He didn't have to tell me that. And then he brought it up and he showed it just to me. And I said, I'll take them all. Don't forget the mail call. That's right. I got to do the mail call. The box that I got from Coco. Thank you for reminding me, Coco. Yeah, Laura is on a lot of YouTubers. And I'm glad she has a wrench. Yes, yeah, she's very, very supportive talk about growing how is your brugmansia holding up well it got bugs in it and it was turning yellow i just sprayed it again today my brother-in-law jody's husband sent me brought me a brugmansia flower plant last year we planted it out front and it didn't do anything i'm trying to keep it alive over the winter so when i put it out when it gets warmer we can it makes these beautiful big trumpet flowers so i'm hoping this year i might get something out of it i'll show you jody just a second Yes, I had trolls the other day. If I ever get trolls here, try not to talk to them. Just totally ignore them and we'll let the wrenches take care of them because they just love it when people make remarks, you know, trying to get get under their skin. All right, Jody, here's the Rugmansia. It's not look terrific because I just sprayed it for bugs. It's turning it was turning yellow. Can you? There it is. So it's still alive and it's getting mottled because it had gotten some bugs. So I sprayed it. It's getting new leaves up here. So hopefully it's going to come back. You can tell Jimmy I still have it alive. All right, now I'm going to open that package that Coco sent me. Hang on. And then we'll be done. I've been out here a long time. You had a big shopping excursion with me. All right. <clears throat> All right, here's the package I got from Coco. I'm going to open it live here and we'll see what she sent me. I have absolutely no idea what it is. C 
see what we have in here. Please find and close some goodies for you and Jen. Ginger is said to aid migraine management, among other health benefits. Jen should end each meal with a nibble or if too spicy, make a weak tea with it. If she doesn't like it, you can make triple ginger snaps with it. I split the container of ginger so you can have some as well. We love it here. Super sweet childhood memory traveling to Vermont and you're introduced to it. Wow. So I, I guess I got some ginger in here. You know, my daughter Mandy, who's living with us now, she gets headaches all the time and she had some today. She had one today. So I may share that with her today. Okay. I hope Jen is seeing improved recovery. What an ordeal. Yes, she's been through a lot. She is doing so much better, and we thank you for all your prayers for my daughter, Jen. She's doing so much better. And this must be... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, I know she made this. Oh, Coco, this is gorgeous. Look at, she made this. Dear Susie, sending you a little Valentine love, and I'm opening it on Valentine's Day. It's been a pleasure watching you be prodigious with your YouTube channel and your sewing projects. I know you can't wait to see the back end of this winter so you can get in your glorious garden. You're right. I can't wait to get out there and get, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Thinking of you, look at all this detail. I love it. And it stands up so you can display it. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Colleen. Oh, that's just too, too pretty. It just looks amazing. Thank you. I love it. And there's something else in here. What do we got here? This must be the ginger, I think. Oh, my. Look at this. It's a little mailbox. Coco and Ern, you guys are too much. Just too, too much. Oh, is this is? Did you make this too, Coco? I don't know. Oh, look at it. It's got a little flag. <laughs> it's adorable. Look at the flowers on it. Oh, and there's the ginger candy. Good. I will share this with Mandy and Jennifer. Oh, and like she said, she broke it up into two sections. Colleen, this is wonderful. And this is to Jen. I'll, I'll uh, give her this. This is just beautiful. Wow. I have the best subscribers in all the world. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't expect that at all. Thank you, Colleen and Ern. That was just beautiful. Okay, so. <sighs> Yes, and Ern and Colleen, I believe they have a channel too called Coco Noel. Isn't that the name of it? Or do you have another new one? I think somebody said. All right, my new me has a troll. Ugh. But this person I've had to delete because of his bad comments. Well, I said in one of my last videos or live streams that there is a filter on YouTube where you can enter into it any words that you don't want said or allowed to be typed <clears throat> on your live stream. So I had to type every nasty word I ever thought of and put it in there, and I did it. And then I found out I missed a couple, so I had to put a few more in because someone was putting some nasty remarks on. So if you do that, they can't put those words on there. They can be creative and say other nasty stuff. But um, the wrenches should be able to kick them out if you have some wrenches on your YouTube channel. Yeah. All right. I want to make sure I don't miss anything I should read. I love Dollar General. You can find some amazing, they, when they mark things down, they really mark them down. When they, the, the stores are small. And it costs them money to store stuff, so it's easier for them to, to let it go at a loss than to pay to store it. 
Yeah, those boxes are gorgeous. I think I would have hugged that man. <laughs> well, I told him how happy I was, but I didn't show you everything. I also got some little cookie cutters for 10 cents and some little jar candles for 10 cents. But those boxes blew me away. Yeah, you're right. The boxes are a gift in themselves. So you can give the box away and uh, that's part of the gift. <clears throat> Chrissy said she thought she did well getting Keebler crackers or cookies yesterday for 50 cents a pack. That is good. It all adds up, all the savings. <laughs> Shopaholic, you are the queen of shoppers. I need to go shopping with you. You rock. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Don't forget to do mail call. Okay, I just did the mail call. Need to tell Tara. Okay, showed you the Brugmansia. <sighs> All right, I don't want to hold you up while I peruse this, but I don't want to miss somebody who needs a, me to answer them. Doesn't Heidi get them too, migraines? Yes, Heidi does get migraines. My, my girls have been plagued with migraines. I'll share them with Heidi too. Yes, the card is absolutely beautiful. And I'm so pleased and humbled that she would think of me to put that time into there and send it to me. Cute mailbox, yep. Yes, very thoughtful. Colleen is very thoughtful. <laughs> what a sweet, thoughtful gift. You can decorate with your BG stickers when you get them. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to do that. Good morning. Love your video, says Eileen. Welcome, Eileen. So glad to have you here. Dollar General has penny finds. <clears throat> Don't know if I've seen those. The boy is here to visit. Hello, boy. Thanks for being such a good son to your mom. We love your mom. What are the responsibilities of having a wrench? The responsibilities of having a wrench pretty much are to watch the chat. Uh, sometimes they, if, if the um, YouTuber is really super busy, you can greet people as they come in. You know, they say, I'm here or something, say hello, Nancy, or whatever. And if I miss them, you can do that. Or you can tell me somebody needs my attention. Uh, if somebody's being nasty, you can boot them with the right click and out they go. So I usually watch on Roku too. Migraines run in my family. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, some things which a wrench can do is like you could go to my email address and you could post that in the comments so that people know they where to write me uh, if they want to send me a card or a letter or, or talk to me in an email or in my snail mail I have a snail mail address you can send it there uh, different things like that we can talk about it Laura enjoy your video so much I'm glad you're here Carol thank you you can rewatch this it will go up as a regular video now that the live stream is about to end and what was it? Oh, I know. I was going to show you one other thing Colleen sent me. Colleen and Ern sent me this little ornament. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> she put on it, uh, Bandana Grandma Gets Her Dream Mixer 2017. And that was right after I had gotten my red KitchenAid. So I love this. It's so cute. It's even got the glass bowl like mine does. <laughs> So, I'm going to say goodbye, everyone. I've been on here a long time, but I had a lot to show you. I hope you enjoyed all the deals I got. Jody loves my ornament. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really cute. And uh, please click the thumbs up if you haven't done it. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell next to that subscribe button, and if you hit that, It'll notify you when I have a new video up or when I do a live stream. At least it's supposed to. So that would be great. 
Have a good day with your Valentine. Oh, I, f I forgot something. I got one more thing to show you. This is crazy. I'm taking forever. We went to Vanity Fair. My husband got two shirts. Uh, these are Wranglers, wrinkle resistant shirts, Vanity Fair up in Pennsylvania. Normally sold for $15. They're marked down to $11.99, but then they had the yellow sticker on them. So we got them half price, so we got them for $6. He got a white one and a goldy yellow one. And, oh, that's what I'm wearing when we go out on our date tonight. My Valentine dress. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what's going on with Bandana Grandma. I'm going to go enjoy my Valentine tonight. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Go be a blessing to somebody. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you at the next live stream. I <laughs> went hot polka dots. She always says that when I show polka dots. So she knows I love polka dots. Okay, I'll be on a live stream again, maybe tomorrow or cooking. So be watching for that. I'll try and put a, a, a warning out or an announcement or promo before I go up if I do. Goodbye, all.